Some have said that there is some spotting of Bigfoot. I don't know. Should we go in, guys? <laughs> oh! Oh my God! We have nothing to protect ourselves. Have you ever heard of Bigfoot being fast? Well, nobody's ever been able to catch him. I have been studying Bigfoot for decades. And now we are at the Bigfoot capital of Alabama. Okay, listen, we're here in Evergreen, Alabama. I haven't seen him yet. And I'm looking, I'm looking. My eyes are peeled everywhere. I'm wearing everywhere. sunglasses. I, That's okay. I understand and it's not gonna, that. It's not gonna help, you know, because the, the lighting's not gonna be right. What if you miss him? <laughs> yeah, but see, then he won't know I'm looking at him. Okay. So like right now, he, like if I saw him right here, I could be looking and he won't know. We have we have no nothing to protect ourselves. Like we didn't bring anything. No, but, but we don't need protection because guys, look at we're all in camo. We? She's she will blend in if 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 we were in the jungle. If we were in the jungle <laughs> and Bigfoot looked like a leopard. Alright, Shaw, no, what do you gotta say? No, uh, dressed as a beast going to attack the beast. Okay. Okay. Listen, I'm trying to dress no, as no, his friend. I, his friend. He's gonna think that you're a snack. Oh my goodness! And then you, and then it might lure him to. Wait, us but I'm just as a jaguar. Yeah, not and a it, good snack. Well, he he might want to. He might want some jaguar for dinner. Who knows? Well, we're, we're... Bigfoot, wild man, Sasquatch. There's even controversy on what to call him. But what we can agree on is that there have been sightings of a hairy humanoid from as far back as 1680 in both North America and abroad, where it is known as Yeti. Quote, a large black cloud-like mass landed in a field, releasing a huge hair-covered being that was seen briefly and disappeared. From Wonder in the Sky by Jacques Vallée. So are you ready to hunt for Bigfoot? I mean, I don't even think he's a, he's an animal. I think like he's a very, very, very hairy man. Like, oh, okay. Like That's someone that has lots of testosterone. Wait, so man. you're telling me? Wait, okay. so you're telling me thousands of years of legend, and it's just a man, a human. So you're thinking then, that the only problem here is that this man has never got a haircut, and he just needs a barber. Yeah. He said he has lots of testosterone. Wow. Oh my. Some accounts say that when Bigfoot is in your presence, an overwhelming feeling of evil actually comes over you. And a horrible, horrible, wretched smell. Right now, I don't smell anything. Smells pretty good. Well, what does it smell like? It smells like actual rain. A nice no, smell. I meant, what does Bigfoot, Bigfoot smell, smell like? Like a putrid, decomposing, Ew. Ew. Like wretchedness death. body. Yeah, yeah. Ew, that's nasty. And then like that evil feeling. I don't feel it. I feel like, you know, life is good. You know? That just means that he's not here yet. Yeah. But but when we when he comes by, we're gonna be ready. The question is, what are we gonna do? Honestly, like we're here now in the capital of Bigfoot, and I, Frank, what are we gonna do if we actually see him? I'll give him my treat. Take you brought a dog treat? There is a shop over there, and these people must know a lot about Bigfoot. I'm gonna go in there and look around, see if I can find anything that lures him. The Yeti, guys, come over here. Come over here. I mean, the natives in this town, they should, I, I think that they may, we may be able to find a map of where we could find him. It smells like Okay. Okay, guys, here's the deal. They made it look like I was crazy. So I just said, do you have a map? Do you know what she said to me? She's like, no, we don't have a map. I use my phone. Okay, everybody, listen. We went to the capital in Alabama to see where the Bigfoot was, and we found nothing. In fact, the people looked at us like we were crazy. I know, I know. Anyhow, yeah. so now we are here. We had to travel several miles. We are in Georgia. Expedition Bigfoot. So that all the information about Bigfoot, we will be able to gather here, and we will know the spots of where to go and what to look for. Species. That is three times what should <laughs> I want to, I'm interested in why this twig breaking is a big sign of something. It says this break was discovered on Bigfoot habitation property location in the North Georgia mountains. Okay, okay how well, do we not know it's not a Don't, don't tap on the glass. In May 1772, another encounter is reported. In one of the East India ships, which is expected home this spring, 
we hear they have got a wild man on board. In 1994, former U.S. Forest Patrolman Paul Freeman claimed he saw a family of Bigfoots in Washington's Blue Mountains. The video is shaky and grainy, but has been deemed real by Bigfoot experts. They will find their food like a deer, as big as this deer, and they will like break its neck or drown it in order to have it to eat. And this is a huge deer. It's a cast of a footprint. That's See the details and you can get an idea of just how big Bigfoot is. Guys, this was as recent as 2019. This was 2019? Oh snap, oh snap. Oh snap. Who has the biggest foot? Well, obviously that is you and Charles. Yeah. Well, are these all the sightings? Uh, why are there so many in California? This is fascinating. They are thinking this is a race of men. Really? And that Bigfoot is basically just a part of that race of men. This is what we may look for. This is the face. This is the face we're seeing. I, I am telling you, it's just a man with it's just a very hairy man. In the Utah hills near Provo Canyon, a hiker spotted a large animal in the woods. As he approached, the animal stood up on two legs and started throwing rocks at him, supposedly a trademark behavior of Sasquatches. Well, that's a Yeti hand. What in the world? Even more recent, an encounter was reported in May 2021 of a 20 year old woman who walked out of warehouse 24 hour gym the woman heard a twig snap she looked up and saw a creature she said it was measuring seven or eight feet tall and it was covered in gray fur and it raced back into the woods about 30 yards away this is a map guys where's your tell us where bigfoot is bigfoot zones okay so like we might be able to find him there or we might have to go up to the wilderness area right there or Kahuta Wildlife Management Area. Alright guys, we are about to head into the woods. Some have said that there is some spotting of Bigfoot in these woods right here. So we're about to go in right now and check it out. We don't know what we're gonna meet. Look out for, you know, obviously big footprints. Maybe hair, hair that got snagged. Sasquatch hair? Actual hair. This is 2015. Broken, um, Broken twigs? Broken right, twigs. right. Bridges. See if you smell anything. Yeah. Yes. Very yes. cute trick. I got a chocolate bar to lure him. Bigfoot loves milk chocolate. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm That's a good idea, Sasquatch. Bigfoot off with his stick. Yeah, we got some come near us. You're not coming with us. Bring a Louis Vuitton bag? I mean, I knew I was sending y'all a daddy, and I got, you know... Wait, wait, you're I saying can't... you're not coming with us? No, we need somebody here, just in case we that's don't right. make it yeah, back. Yeah, uh, that's right. And we don't make it back, that's we need someone right. to come in. We're going to examine four different theories of what is Bigfoot. The first theory is in an ape. If Sasquatch does exist, it is likely a close relative of the orangutan. With their long reddish brown hair, orangutans are similar in appearance to the Sasquatches described by most eyewitnesses. The second theory is Sasquatch is a giant human hybrid. Nearly every DNA sample from an analysis of hair found from different encounters have all come back as human, or at least partially human. According to the Sasquatch Genome Project, Bigfoot are an indigenous aboriginal people distantly related to modern humans. There's a hole Yo. here with a cover, but he would never be able to get in there. He's probably his bathroom. Oh, that's so oh, true. That's so true. My you never goodness. Know. You never know. We might see some Bigfoot droppings. That means that his home could be close by here. True. Hey, so, look, look, guys. It? That's definitely Bigfoot dropping. That's some, ew, no, no, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Ew, 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 no, 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 no. Don't you think don't. it would be bigger than that though? Ew, touch it. ew. He's probably, he's probably constipated. That's poop. The third theory is that Bigfoot is actually an alien. Experts in the paranormal studies field have made connections between UFOs and Bigfoot and have speculated that Bigfoot may be an extraterrestrial, interdimensional traveler. According to this theory, this could explain why no bodies or skeletons have ever been found. Y'all, look at Bigfoot's habitat. 
Oh, this is his, his crib. <laughs> Something oh is something is here. We gotta catch it. Wait, he what? might be in here. Shasha, don't go. Wait, 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 wait Look wait, over no. here. Wait, is that what I think it is? The fourth and last theory is that Bigfoot is actually a supernatural being or demon. They believe that Bigfoot is a demonic entity created by demons in order to cause deception and confusion. This also explains the evil presence that many feel. We so do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? I see it. I see it. Okay, come, come on, on, come on, come on. I don't know. Should we go in, guys? Definitely. I don't know. Okay, we should vote. I just want to do the call just to see. Wait, wait, wait. Let me go closer. Let me go closer. And then come run away. Ow! Ow! That was... You gotta get closer. Jump down there. We gotta okay. get, we gotta flash up, do a flashlight in there. I don't even know if this flashlight will be strong enough though. It looks really dark and dank in there. Ooh. Woo! Do you think it's an Airbnb that Bigfoot rented out? Maybe. Well, you know, we're not at home all the time. He maybe just grocery shopping. You know what? That's true. That is true. Is it five? Yeah, You know yeah, what? He's, it he's... does smell gross. Ugh. Anyhow, even if this is not his place. We gotta continue. We gotta keep on looking for him Fighter. because he's not Fighter. here. Fighter. Yeah, Fighter. he's Fighter. not here. Let's Come on, let's go. Trial. Hey guys, I'm gonna go down this way. I'll meet you guys back. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Here, I just want you all to know that we are actually experts at wood. We actually, in our, our house, um, a few years ago, we had woods in the back, and we actually walked in the end. That's oh, true. Yeah. Except the fact that we did have to defeat uh, some ticks. We literally, it was little guys. It was a literal tick infestation, basically. We went in the woods, and then we, with our two dogs, Shading and Shadow, we came back, and basically, I remember, oh, it was horrifying. Who's that? Oh, wait, Dad. Did you, did you guys hear the crack? I heard that. I heard it again. Yo. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, this is a parkour. This is interesting. Those logs have cut, been cut down. Is this Bigfoot's doing? It's a pretty large tree. Here, but he here. has no TV. He sits out. No, no, look. No, look. he did just watch nature. That is his TV, Shanae. Yeah. Do you guys, wait, wait. I know you guys think that this is a water bottle from him. Hot take. Do you think that a hiker came down here and was eaten by him? <gasps> eaten by him? Oh my goodness. That's or we have sick. competitors. Or we have competitors that are looking for Bigfoot like us. But what about the fifth theory? The fifth theory is that Bigfoot is not real at all. Skeptics say that none of it is real and that it is a figment of the imagination, a myth or folklore. Some of the reasons they stand by this belief is that the most reported evidence for the existence of Bigfoot are eyewitness accounts, and those are notoriously unreliable. According to veteran researcher Grover Krantz, hard evidence is elusive. There are not enough samples of hair, feces, or blood. And the usual fate of these items is that they either receive no scientific study or else the documentation of that study is either lost or unobtainable. Why do you look like you're saying some poetry? It's not like he's dying. Can we get somewhere prettier, please? Prettier? Yes, okay. prettier. Oh! Wait, 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 that, that was, was that, scary. That was terrifying. I, my, la my life flashed before my eyes. Shay, it was why your call where I it made the noise. My call that we heard the noise. I'm just that saying. That is so true. Shay, do it again. You want you want to do it? Again? Yes, okay, yes, okay, yes, 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 okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Everybody, just be ready to run. Just hold on a second. <clears throat> I gotta take off my glasses for this. No, he heard pretty. He was like. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Oh. What? Oh, pretty what? woman. Oh. Pretty Bigfoot. Pretty Bigfoot. <laughs> pretty Bigfoot. Walking down All right, the street. I'm ready. <clears throat> uh, 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 uh. What if we're saying a mating call? Oh! Oh! Don't run away from your marriage proposal today. Wait, are you eating the chocolate bar? Shlom! All right, guys, let's just go back down, okay? We have to continue looking. Okay, yeah. I, I guess you like What is that? Shiloh, did you hear that? 
you drop the stick? Yes, but I never snapped it. You oh. didn't snap this, Shiloh. I did not. That's that's too hard to snap. Okay, how do we not know that when we were running sorry, that sorry. we didn't snap it? I did not snap it. He dropped it. I know he dropped it, but remember, I was last to come here. He was the last one. We didn't run behind him. True. What do you mean? Wait, it, wait are you seeing a Bigfoot was behind us? And we didn't see him? <laughs> no. No, no, he's too fast. That's too fast. That's too fast. And, uh, have you ever right? met, Have you ever heard a Bigfoot being fast? Well, nobody's ever been able to catch him. Which half are you going to fend him off with? You Bigfoot! This is what you got! Bro, what if he's over there? Why would you throw it in that direction? Oh, Sasha, you don't throw it like this. Don't like this. No, don't! It might hit his head! It might hit his head! It might hit his head! That's Do the it. point. Oh, okay. That was, that, that was Yo, funny. I'm, I'm, I'm... Yeah, I'm does it look like a couch? No, I'm not gonna sit there for everything. Guys, is that his couch right there? Going back up is gonna be so tiring. Oh, oh my... Okay, I'm doing it, guys. <sighs> Somebody was throwing stuff at me. What? What? I don't know. It was like acorns or something. Wait, are you serious? No, I'm not even playing. He must be like, mad because we threw a stick at him. We definitely down I there. Thought it was, I thought it was you guys playing around with me, and but then you guys were all the way down there. There has been some reports of people, um, uh -huh. him throwing things at houses close by. Are you serious? Yeah, probably just trying to scare people Wait, to- Wait, we got- <sighs> Come on, you can do it, Shell. <sighs> It's gonna get dark. I don't think we're gonna be able to get out of these woods before it gets dark, guys. I don't know if we'll be able to. The hunt for Bigfoot for some is a hobby and for others an obsession that defines their own origins or spiritual beliefs. But the real question is, what do you believe? I, I don't I don't think this is a silly mission. I if this is the big Oh my goodness. What? Oh what? my that? goodness. Guys, I see Bigfoot. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. There it is, right there. What, what? in the world! Natasha, why do you look like you're fangirling? Stop, stop. All right, guys. Unfortunately, this is the closest that we are going to get to Bigfoot. Woo! I mean, they've hidden him from us. We came all this way and we have not found him. But you know what? Maybe it was for the best. I don't want to feel evil, right? I don't want to smell grossness. So you know what? On to the next investigation.